Hello folks and welcome to a tutorial for how to play PS1 games online using Duck Station emulator. So a little bit of like a previous information about Duck Station. Uh, the, the Duck Station emulator uses what is um, called the Defining Game Community Rollback Netcode. So what that does, what that allows you, it allows you to play international connections with a pretty uh, decent performance like let's say you wanted to play it from Europe to US um, and you can play that with uh, if, well if the connections are stable you can you can play it uh, pretty well but yeah um, on to the setup the setup isn't really uh, complicated to begin with so basically what you need is uh, so it's, uh, so basically, I'm gonna go to the BIOS just to tell you what you need is the STPH 1000. Uh, ja that's for the Japan, um, the Japan area. STPH 1001 USA. STPH 1002 Europe, and you are done with the BIOS stuff. On to the games. The games. Uh, make sure uh, that you get like uh, when you play with your friend. Make sure to get the same game version of it otherwise if you have like a different version well obviously you will just be sync so make sure to have the same game version when you get the game you just go settings game list and this is the plus sign this is to add a location to like let's say you wanted to point to where your uh, games are mine are i'm just showing you where my games are and it's on the PS1 games. I don't know, add it because it's already added. But you can select that and set it up like that. It's not really an issue. Let me close this. One thing to note uh, to avoid any issues with desyncing uh, on settings controllers on the controller port one. Make sure this stays on digital controller because if you use other than that, it's going to desync. So bear that in mind. So. What I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be showing you how to uh, how to set it up. First, I'm going to show up the hosting and the joining process and what. So, in order to host, what you need to do is you boot up Tekken 3. That's what we're going to be showing. So, I'm booting Tekken 3. Go boot. Here's the boot. And once the game boots, I'm just waiting for yes. You click on Netplay. Click on Create Session. And uh, you can set input delay. Now, typically, what we use is um, I'm from Europe and I'm connecting to my friend that's in UK. So, typically, what we use is uh, Europe to UK one delay, UK to East Coast USA is two delay, UK to West Coast is three delay. Now, you can work around it some have used uh, more some have, have used less delay so you can work around with um with it if it if uh, if those numbers don't work for you but in our case i am going to use one delay and after you do that enable traversal mode go like okay and you have the code here now, if you want to join on the net play, join session, you have traversal mode, and the input delay, you can put it here. The host code, you put it here. Now, because I'm hosting, I don't need it. So, I'm going to give my friend, Flutataku, the code. About that. And we are on the game. Now, I'm expecting him to pop in. Okay, so you see Netflix synchronizing. That means that uh, it, it means that the person is connecting to you. So, okay, okay, doesn't matter. I'll show off uh, like some of the gameplay to uh, just show you how it runs. And you can decide if it runs good or not. One fight. Okay, I'm not really good at attacking the okay, 
I'm gonna have a uh, play back in when I was a kid. It's kind of stopping, it has a nostalgic value to me. Round two. Currently playing this on a keyboard right now. Okay, so that's uh, that's basically uh, how Duck Station uh, works in a nutshell. Currently, it only supports one v one. Round one. But yes, if you wanna close out the game, you just press X. Yes, they stay for resume, and that is it. That's basically that's basically how Duck Station works. Now I'll be I will be posting the Duck Station build uh, the Duck Station rollback netcode build in the description below. For people that want people that are on Linux that want to run it, uh, you can use Lutris. I am on Linux. Currently, the program doesn't have native Linux support for it, I'm afraid. Maybe later on they will. Um, hope, hopefully, you like the tutorial. And if there is um, any question that I can answer, you are feel, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. Or, we do, or you can join the Discord server, which I will be posting in the description below as well. You can join ask and we'll try to help you as much as we can that said my name is Darrell and I'll see you at the next video ending recording <laughs>